<laughs> Stop laughing. Okay, there are a lot of people who don't know where they want to end up in life. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with taking some time to find your way. But in the meantime, let us give you 10 tips to help find your calling. Okay, I have a question. How did you know you were on the right path? Um, when I got my first camera from my father, yeah. um, I figured I wanted to do something <laughs> with the media, with photography. That's what I enjoy doing. And my passion for just, you know, and especially with the mentoring stuff, that's where my heart really lies. You know, I love what I do on TV, but to help others um, is what has always been my nature. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Well, we no, have you know, some... So wait, you know, you didn't no, but you just, you just say, okay, well, just, I just jump in that scene. No. Okay. At what point, like for you, did you know that being a superstar actress... Oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah. And I accept all of that into my life. Um, I had seen, yeah, I had seen, I started singing with Father Holong and Friends when I was in high school. I think I was about 14. And on one of those trips, we ended up going to see Lion King on Broadway. And it was in that theater while everybody else was like, <gasps> I was like, <gasps> I, 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 my favorite thing. No, it was wonderful. Yeah. Yes, I'm an emotional person, I know oh, that. But that, I was like, I have to do that. Like, I have to do that with my life. So you, everything else just kind of get. And you've had ups and downs. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. So I think I knew early, but still, ups and downs. Are you scared? Today. Of course. Still scared? Still scared. Yeah. Always scared. I, th I think if your dreams don't scare you, then they're not big enough. Yeah. I mean, even when I come on set sometimes, I still get nervous. For real? Yeah, man. No, I'm not getting nervous here, no, so. I, no, I get nervous at the theater. Well, I get nervous in the makeup room sometimes. Yeah, man. For real? Yeah, I still, get, I still oh, have a little man. nerves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aw. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, we have a list here of 10 tips to help you find your life's true calling. So, the I can't first find my 10 one. Tips. You can't find it? Skip. Oh. <laughs> That's why you need people on your journey. Yeah, there you go. To help you. The first one is notice dreams and signs. So you said it earlier about oh, sometimes people get it in a dream. I didn't get mine in a dream. So I think mine was a sign. Like the, the, the show is. Like Martin Luther like King. Yeah. I have a dream. Yeah, he had a dream. So the subconscious has a way of letting you know if you're heading in the right direction. That's what they says. Pay attention to the things that happen in your life, the people you meet, the things you notice, the places you're drawn to. When you wake up, actively connect to your dreams. Keep a pad by the bed to write things down and let their symbolism work on you. Mm. They sound like somebody who really, you know, them, them subconscious Celestial. and yeah, I Celestial know, right? Connecting, you. you know? Okay. okay. Number two, prioritize expressing yourself in whatever way you find enjoyable. And this goes on to say, if you want to be fully yourself and find your path in life, creativity is not a luxury. You must carve time for it. So you believe everybody is creative? Um, in, in their own way. Right. So if you're an accountant, you're creative in probably designing a new way to account. And you're good at numbers and stuff like oh, that. Oh, no. Yeah. I mean, every, in, everyone in their own way has some creativity about them. Okay. I won't say not everybody's creative because that's like, you know, not wrong true. to say. <laughs> Next one. Think about what you used to love. I mean, no, 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 no. Let yeah. me read that. Our callings are very often things that we love to do, loved to be or do when we were very young, before we were asked to fit in. How did you play as a child? What did you love to do? Were you curious about? How did you think? Okay, let me, let me huh. tell you where this is coming from. You know, you know, as a child, as a baby, if you want something, you go get it. Like if you want to walk, you start walking. If you want something, you cry until you get it. And then after a while, people start telling you, you know, stop the crying, stop doing this, don't go there, don't go there. Because as a child, as a baby, we are limitless. Like we see nothing, there's no fear. Babies have no fear. And when you have no fear, it causes you to go after what you want. So this with I tell passion. me must chuck off things because when we do young we like chuck off things and climb tree and so. Yeah, so this I tell me so that is what my passion is. And your passion is to chuck after things as you put it <laughs> that you want. Like if you ah. want to be no I mean if you want to immerse yourself into being the actress above a level that you chuck. are now, you have to chuck. <laughs> chuck. Chuck <into> it. <laughs> I can't even just say okay. chuck a while ago. All right, you All right. did though. Notice, Notice what, what feels good. Yeah, yeah, no, we're gonna say that together a while ago. Notice, Notice what, what feels, feels good. good. Read away. Callings feel good. When you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, we are connected, joyful, expressive, loving, and purposeful. Notice times in your daily life that you feel like this. What exactly are you doing? Who are you with? What are you allowing? Yeah, that is one of the yeah, truest man. ones. Just one of the truest ones. When I'm on stage, when I'm in front of a camera, I am a happy human being. I am like at my best 
because and, and I just feel like that's what makes me happy. That's what I love to do, you know. Yeah. I don't know if I would have found this much enjoyment in in something else. Uh, I don't same think so. for me, especially when I get to um, work with the schools that I work with. There's just this overwhelming sense of joy. Sometimes I feel like I want to cry. You know, in all honesty, when I, when I see these boys, especially when I go to graduation and stuff, and I see them, Proud of them. you know, it just makes me feel as if you know. Question: When you were doing athletics. Did you feel like that was your calling or you just did it, it because you could? It gave me a, a safe safe place. Because you used, could? When I was a child, I used to have issues. Cause I remember I lost my dad early, so I used to have a lot of anger issues. I did sports to, to just release that. I played basketball, track, tried football. Me and Christopher, Christopher the drummer. Um, so Christopher did tell me so the reason why you stopped running because you're not angry again. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's... it's I'm, I'm not... There's no... That, that burning desire that came from the anger, mm -hmm. it's not there as much. So really, so. it wasn't your true calling, it was just a way of expression. Well, there you go, that proves it. I think this is the last one we're gonna do before we go over to the band. Turn down the distractions. Distractions, so distractions like, like TV, shopping, drink, shopping. Who is shopping <laughs> a distraction? Serve only to keep you stuck. Turn them down in your life and allow possibility in. This will be hard at first. It's easy to use these things to stop you facing things you don't want to or having to answer difficult questions. But consciously opting for stillness over diversions or emptiness over a life chock full of busy is choosing to open a dialogue. <clears throat> this one long, right? A dialogue with yourself and your path. So, them say must stop shop. I'm Stop, and stop watching so much stop, TV. Too much. Stop too much shopping. And then focus on you, focus on the inn, and then. Yeah, because sometimes you notice up. when you go shopping, you spend like four hours shopping because you know, walk around in all the places. Hey, guess what? You never know. Suppose that is somebody's true calling. Suppose them being a oh, shopper know, no, 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 no. is a true you know, calling. You know, in, in all honesty, you have people who shop for people, someone. You know? Of course, yeah, there are yeah, professional yeah. shoppers yeah. that do that. So, hey. I ain't gonna say that this is completely accurate because if that's your thing, then that's your thing. You know? People are better shoppers than me. Most you know? definitely. And they can just go so, yeah. so, so, so. So the so. shop after shopping. Now I use it more. Shop.